The procedure documented here was performed at a customer site on a Minnesota rooftop. Dry Steam Technical Support Representative Mindy will be demonstrating the upgrade today. The starting point for this procedure is a Dry Steam GTS humidifier that has been shut down for service and it has the control access panel removed. For GTS upgrades in an outdoor enclosure, you will need to loosen the cooling fan and tuck it somewhere out of the way. Documentation to have on hand includes the VaporLogic version 3 to version 6 upgrade instructions that ship with the upgrade kit, and the GTS IOM and wiring diagrams that ship with the humidifier. Because some humidifiers outlast their printed instructions, replacement instructions are available at drysteam.com and wiring diagrams can be obtained by calling Drysteam Technical Support. This humidifier has only one VaporLogic version 3 expansion board because it has only two burners. Three and four burner GTS humidifiers have two expansion boards. The wires are numbered and the upgrade instructions provide landing points for wire locations, all of which are labeled. There are two things described in the upgrade instructions that are easier to demonstrate in video format. Lengthening wires that are too short and pigtailing wires that are too crowded for one landing point. Mindy is doing both and will stay right here to show you how easy it is for her to route and connect the wires when they have plenty of slack and when they are pigtailed for sharing landing points. After following the connection instructions for all external devices, such as humidity sensors and duct high limit switches, there is one last task before it is time to power up the humidifier. New igniters. VaporLogic version 6 includes a cycle counter for GTS igniters. Start at zero cycles by installing new igniters from DrySteam. The procedure is very simple, as shown here. The upgrade kit includes a new keypad display. Mindy is in the air handler turning on the power. There it is, the controller is lit up and the diagnostic LED tells us that the system is in standby mode. If you have questions, please call Drysteam Technical Support. We are standing by and happy to provide assistance if needed.